Welcome to day three of learning about complex sentences. Today we're going to review everything we've learned so far. So as a review, let's look at some vocab. An independent clause is another name for a simple sentence or a complete thought. It has all the information it needs to stand alone. A dependent clause is half a thought. It almost looks like a sentence, but you're missing information. It fails the guess what test. A complex sentence is a sentence that has one dependent and one independent clause. So let's look at the rules. A dependent clause doesn't pass the guess what test. If the sentence starts with the dependent clause, you need a comma at the end of the dependent clause. If the sentence starts with the independent clause, you don't need a comma. So let's practice. As we look at each sentence on the screen, think about which clause is independent, which clause is dependent, do we need a comma, and if so, where does the comma go? Elizabeth and Mary Louise decided to go shopping for a new pet rabbit after their mother told them that they could have a pet. Where's my dependent clause? Which part of the sentence doesn't pass guess what? Couldn't stand by itself. My dependent clause is after their mother told them they could have a pet. If I just walk up to you and I say, hey, guess what? What, Miss Jacobson? After their mother told them that they could have a pet, and then I stop, you're going to look at me like, um, who, what, when, where, why? What's going on? Elizabeth and Mary Louise decided to go shopping for a new pet rabbit is a complete thought, so it's independent. My independent clause is at the beginning. My dependent clause is at the end, so I don't need a comma. Whenever I try to go to sleep early, I end up staring at the ceiling in boredom. Where's my dependent clause? Which part of the sentence can't stand by itself? Whenever I try to go to sleep early is my dependent clause. If I walk up to you and I say, hey, guess what? And you go, what, Miss Jacobson? And I say, whenever I try to go to sleep early, and then I stop talking, you're either going to stare at me for a few seconds, or you're going to be like, what? What are you talking about? Whenever I try to go to sleep early is dependent. My independent clause is I end up staring at the ceiling in boredom. Because my dependent clause is at the beginning of the sentence, I need a comma at the end of the dependent clause, which means I need a comma after early. If I don't turn in all my assignments, it will be hard to pass the six weeks. Where's my dependent clause? Which part of the sentence can't stand by itself? My dependent clause is if I don't turn in all my assignments. If I walk up to you and I say, hey, guess what? And you go, what, Miss Jacobson? And I say, if I don't turn in all my assignments and then I stop talking, you're going to be confused because I'm missing information. That's my dependent clause. It will be hard to pass the six weeks is a complete thought. It can stand by itself, so that's independent. If my dependent clause is the leader, it's at the beginning of the sentence, I need a comma at the end of the dependent clause. So I'm going to need a comma after assignments. Because Jane was mad at her brother, she stole his PS4 and sold it to GameStop. Uh, yes, I can hear the noises you're making, especially my boys. Okay, because Jane was mad at her brother, she stole his PS4 and sold it to GameStop. 
Where's my dependent clause? Which part of the sentence can't stand by itself? Because Jane was mad at her brother is dependent. If I walk up to you and I say, hey, guess what? And you say, guess what, Miss Jacobson? And all I say is, because Jane was mad at her brother, somebody's going to ask me, well, what did Jane do because she was mad at her brother? She stole his PS4 and sold it to GameStop as a complete thought. We have the person and what they did. So that's independent. If my dependent clause is leading the sentence, it's the leader, it's at the beginning, I need a comma at the end of the dependent clause. So that means I'm going to need a comma after brother. When he found out what she did, he was furious at her and told their parents. Where's my dependent clause? When he found out what she did is my dependent clause. It can't stand by itself. The complete thought, the independent clause, is he was furious at her and told their parents. So I need a comma after did because my dependent clause is at the beginning of the sentence. She is grounded until the end of the month. She is grounded is a complete thought. Who's my subject? She. What's she doing? She is grounded. Until the end of the month doesn't make sense by itself. Until the end of the month is my dependent clause. If my dependent clause is at the end of the sentence, I don't need a comma. She didn't think that is fair since her brother was a jerk to her first. Which part of my sentence is dependent? Which part doesn't make sense by itself? Since her brother was a jerk to her first is my dependent clause. If all I do is I walk up to you and I say, hey, guess what? And you say, what, Miss Jacobson? And I say, since her brother was a jerk to her first, that's not going to make sense by itself. It can't stand by itself, so it's dependent. The independent thought is she doesn't think that is fair. If I would walked up to you and I said, hey, she doesn't think this is fair, and you knew the context, then it would make sense. She doesn't think that is fair is independent. Her brother was a jerk to her first is dependent, which makes this a complex sentence. The independent is at the beginning, so I don't need a comma. Okay, go ahead, log into Canvas, and take your complex sentences test.